change people's lifestyle by technology. So what are you waiting for? Sign up at doodlehub.com and get your habits built. Thank you. Thanks for that, buddy. That's a good, good presentation. Um, I mean, the first, first question is, how do you create a habit in people actually using your product? And, and for me, I agree with your point around technology can 
you know, solve the problem or change the way people are, are already doing something. But it seems to me the broader problem is people can't maintain a habit or start a habit. So you've got to encourage people to begin one, first of all, by using your own product. How are you going around by doing that? Uh, first of all, I think uh, the people already uh, using our platform, which successfully built a habit and, and, and reconnect uh, to their friend and uh, to become an uh, organic system. And our next stage will be uh, uh, put more social network management, so like uh, friends engagement, more peer pressure. So this kind of uh, features can help people to uh, get, get into the system and uh, to use our product more. Does that answer your question? Okay, uh, just, just a cycle on, on English language. Uh, I, I thought it was Dodo Hub, but then Dodo Hub it sounds cool, but then Dodo has another name, there's another <laughs> definition of Dodo, so that's something for you. <laughs> Second thing is, uh, after, after your pitch, I, I, I felt very tired, I'm like, oh my god, I don't track all this shit. It's like a little bit of a pain in the ass for me, so I might use it, I might not, but that's, that's some, some other... Some other. Um, do you have traction so far? Have you launched and what's, what's uh, We have just on? launched our gamification version two weeks ago. Before that, we launched our MVP version to a small group of people, and we gathered the feedback and uh, did uh, some modification, which uh, added the gamification. Okay, so generally, if you need to gamify something to make people use, then you have something wrong. Generally. Uh, I just want to add a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, the last question, uh, how are you different from Lyft? Uh, first of all, I think mobile, uh, mobile app is, uh, is a must. And uh, we are also doing uh, mobile app uh, currently. We are de developing it. I think Lyft is uh, a US-based company which is uh, targeting US market primarily. And uh, I think we should target uh, Southeast Asia market first. Market. So we start on Singapore first and build the uh, user base slowly. Uh, you are, you are, you are very smart and simple. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. So uh, uh, please tell me more about uh, your business model because uh, your business model is a bit different. Uh, currently, I think uh, my main target. I still think it's too early to talk about business model. This tool business model is just our plan, it's not a full business model. Uh, I think after we gained enough user like uh, 10k or 100k, we started to think, think seriously about uh, what business model should really apply. Thank you. So, what, what function do you think is the, the, the most important to let users keep using this service? Uh, I think should be, um, first of all, we should create it, um, a positive uh, atmosphere for them to uh, keep using it. Um, next, we, I think we should uh, have more uh, peer pressure and more uh, motivation for to use this system to help them. Once they have already completed the target for a week, I think they will continue using it. So the, I think the main challenge is ask them to uh, complete at least for a week. Excellent, thank you. Time's up. Thank you. Go on.